Yeah, I mean, it's very troubling. Uh, you know, I know I've been a police officer for 36 years. I know that, you know, police officers, the vast majority are good people who go to work every day to serve their communities. And yes, there have been some bad shootings over the last couple of years, but it concerns me when people rush to judgment, not knowing the facts, and you know, assuming that a shooting's bad when they really don't know if it's bad or if it's good. Um, and, you know, I think some of these people are really distorting the truth. You know, cops, you have a split second to make that decision, and sometimes they make the wrong one. Uh, but sometimes if they don't make a decision, they may wind up you know, being shot themselves. So it's a very difficult task, you know, when you're in that life and death situation. But I think most police officers do a, a great job, and believe me, cops do not want to shoot anyone if they don't have to. Now, I'm not going to ask you about any specific incident or anything, but um, I kind of just maybe more broadly, and again, obviously, a community like this is very different from an urban community, but do you think there is some credence to the calls for sorts of systemic, at least reevaluations, if not changes, of poli policing policies, especially with certain communities? Well, you know, I tell you this, I do believe that police departments across country need to do more and better use of force training, in particular deadly force. I do think there have been too many bad shootings, uh, but from what I've seen, it's, it's not just black suspects, it's also white suspects, Hispanics. Uh, so I don't think it's, it's targeted towards any race. I think there's just a need for better training, and I do think that the police departments need to do a better job reaching out to the community and building, you know, good uh, relationships. And, you know, I think they need to be open and transparent and explain to the communities why they do things the way they do and, and try to be as open as they can do. I think that's, that's important. So I do think there is room for improvement on the part of the police departments. Um, but I also think it's very important that, you know, people <clears throat> try to keep an open mind and don't rush the judgment and don't assume a cop is doing something because of someone's race until we know all the facts. I think it's so important. Okay, I understand what you're saying. I just, maybe some people think that maybe there should be, in terms of training, again, uh, maybe kind of more awareness of implicit bias. Do, do you kind of give any credence to that? Those types of claims, well, just as human I, beings, I, not yeah, specifically I mean, police officers. I, I think that it's important that that is part of the training. You know, I do believe that police officers do their best to treat everyone the same. Uh, but you know, with human nature, is it possible that an officer, especially been on for a while, may develop the mindset that this person, this race, is more likely to be involved in crime because maybe that's all he deals with because where he works at, so yeah, it, it can happen. So I think it's important that, that police officers continue to get training and remind them that they have to keep an open mind and not, you know, either stereotype a certain person that they're more likely to be a criminal because of race. <clears throat> it's important that, you know, police not do that. And I don't think it happens very much, but, you know, I'm sure it does have a question. And last question, um, another big issue that people have been uh, bringing up lately, like I just recently was at a Department of Justice hearing in, in Chicago, a big theme was uh, police dealings and training in regards to individuals with mental illness or uh, disabilities. Um, I don't know exactly what percentage of Romeo police officers have that specific training, but what are your thoughts kind of on that issue? I think it's uh, very important. We've had several officers that have received training and we're in the process of getting every officer trained in that. That is something we're seeing a lot of nowadays, a lot of mental health issues, something we didn't have to deal with years ago. Now it's very common, uh, and it's a problem. And you need to be trained and know how to deal with these people, because there's a high potential of violence. You know, because a lot of these people are uncooperative, they maybe tend to be towards, act towards violence, so you need to know how to deal with these people.